Hi guys, it's uh, Wednesday, 27th of May. Um, probably it's been 10 days, or over 10 days, since the last proper video update on, on the fry spawning. And I think I said in that video that I was a little bit uncertain about where we were with the fry. And it's been very up and down since, I have to be honest. Um, for one day I'll, I'd look and, and think we were great, um, for other days still not so sure how they were progressing. Um, it was actually last Thursday um, that I really started to be a little bit uh, concerned about the fry. Um, I drilled the, um, the, the ta cleaned the tank down outside um, with a view to set up the Goshi spawning. And I spent the whole day getting ready for that and the parents were due to going on, on Friday morning. And then I came into the tank in here and it was a scorching, scorching hot day and I'm not sure that's really necessarily relevant. The water temperature only got up to sort of 24 and a half degrees or so. Um, but suddenly there were a huge, a large number, shall I say, say huge. Uh, there were a large number of, of dead fry within the, within the spawning net. But funnily enough, I'd actually, um, I'd be very conscious that the spawning net was coming rather dirty. Um, indeed, I'd, I'd planned uh, on the next video update to talk about the importance and and some of the difficulties of keeping fry inside a net like these. Um, it's a double-edged sword, obviously you need the net um, to, to contain the fry, um, otherwise they're going to end up in filtration systems, they have bottom drains, um, but unfortunately the, the flip side of that is that the, the fine mesh blocks incredibly, incredibly quickly. Um, this particular one here, um, the, well it's not here at the moment because the tank's empty, I wish I'll talk about it in a little while. Um, the net that was in here, uh, one mil uh, square mesh. Um, it's funny, I had spoken when the spawning first took place about how clean the whole system seemed. Um, and then I had my doubts about the, the, the egg and milk mixture. Um, and then the fry was so small to start with. Um, and that was why I went with the egg and, the egg and milk mixture. And uh, I'm not suggesting the egg and milk mixture is necessarily a bad thing. Um, Gallon, uh, who suggested it to me. Um, uses it all the time. Um, seems that in, in this situation either, which is quite possible, I fed far too much of it uh, in the hope of getting some, some growth on those fry. Um, so, and, and, and today, um, as it's progressed anyway, so we, we got to, to last Thursday and that was when I, I decided to, to postpone the spawning, uh, the plan spawning the Goshki. And the plan was then that the fish would come out of here uh, this will be cleaned down and, and then we decide what we're going to do. Um, then the next day, it, th things seemed to pick up. I did some changes in the tank, um, which was to add a, a, a pump external to the, to the net. Uh, and that was then put in, obviously, fresh water back in to make sure water keeps circulating through the net. That's one of the difficult things. Um, when the net starts to, to, to clog up, Obviously there's not the water exchange um, which you need between them um, inside and outside of the net. And also you don't want a huge flow of water um, splashing back onto the, onto the top of the tank either. So you don't just di direct your filter return for example. And you don't want huge air stones in there causing lots of commotion. You want it fairly still but you need a water exchange. And that's the sort of stuff I was going to talk about um, in the video update. Um, but then things to say, got away with me. Um, and anyway, I was very conscious and I would always clean the front screen not every time I come in here. Just rub it gently to make sure that it was water flow through. But let's see, Thursday, um, discovered this, this apparent problem of fry dying. Um, then did some changes and it seemed okay. Um, but then every, every few days the same situation would occur. So I really, really um, don't know what the situation or the real cause of it was. Um, I'm starting to think maybe, uh, I mean the water parameters were absolutely perfect in every way. I couldn't detect any problem in that respect. Um, so it wasn't a water quality problem per se, um, unless there was something obviously that I'm not measuring for, um, that during the course of the day the sunshine um, was reacting with, with the, the, the build up of, of material that was on the net and that was maybe causing a problem, I really don't know. Um, anyway, got to uh, yesterday um, and again many fish died off yesterday um, and that was when we'd planned already that this tank was being cleaned today um, so that's what we did this morning and I'll show you two videos now um, of the fry and talk about 
and the differences. Um, and then where I'm getting to a bit with my conclusion uh, of where we're at. So this tank that the, the Kajaku Fry are now in, um, as you can clearly see, very, very mixed sizes amongst them. Um, trying to keep this water fairly, fairly still, hoping that the, the water will pass through the net fairly easily still at this stage, um, which gives more chance, hopefully, for the ladies to to latch on to a bit of dry food. Yeah, so as we can clearly see in this, this more close-up shot, huge, huge range of, of sizes. Um, well, a huge range. A significant difference in sizes. Uh, it'd be very easy to think that the large ones were actually shooters that uh, were being cannibalistic. What actually happened, um, I think probably every large one that you can see, and certainly all these large ones that you see in the net right now, in this close-up shot, uh, were actually fry that had grown outside of the net. So obviously as soon as they'd hatched, they'd, they'd escaped through, um, and then they've lived outside the net, avoided going down the bottom drain, but they've had plenty of food per fish um, dropping through the net and passing through the net for them to feed at their leisure off the, off the bottom as it comes through. Whereas the many thousands of fry that are inside the net uh, are in a much more competitive situation. Um, so I'm starting to think that that's very much um, the problem that, that's existed is that the, these fry inside the net um, didn't get the start, haven't had the, the, the amount of food that they should have. And so they've discussed with several, several people. I uh, spoke with uh, Rick at New Forest Corps yesterday, and his feeling very much was that um, unless there was another reason, um, such as a, a parasite problem or something, then it was probably a food problem. And even with, with small wheat fry at the beginning, uh, his experience is that you can feed them up and get them going. So that's very much the intention. Um, we have, this morning I did look at a number of them, um, ones that were apparently just dead or dying under the microscope um, and couldn't find anything um, uh, that suggested there was some parasite problem with them. So, obviously, tank's drained down. Fry are now in the tank outside. Um, small number, clean net. We'll try and get those feed and got some baby Artemia, or oh, baby Artemia, Artemia eggs coming tomorrow. So I'm gonna try and get some Artemia into that tank uh, for those smallest ones in there to try and get them growing. Um, but then tomorrow, the plan now is that the Goshki parents will go into the tank behind me because uh, potentially they now become the number one parent set of the year um, after the, the, the parent failure of the Kajaku. Or oh, my failings may be of raising the Kajaku. Um, at the end of the day, Buck stops with me. Uh, I was the one that made the decisions. So. Uh, yep, so Goshki uh, going in here uh, probably, what we do, Wednesday, Friday morning, um, as we did with the last spawnings. So hopefully uh, Friday evening, maybe if we're lucky, they will spawn. Uh, if not, we can go through Saturday or Sunday, whatever. Uh, we'll see what happens. So that's the positive part of it. Um, we get to do another spawning. I was excited to do Goshki as well as I was to do Kajaku. Um, I hope I have to live in hope that maybe something nice comes out from the Kajaku spawning. Um, but the most important thing is that we learn lessons as we progress through it. Um, so there we are. Um, the next video update will come in a couple of days uh, once we get that Goshki set up. And then hopefully by the weekend we'll have a, a bit more of a positive video with more success uh, and something to carry on forward with.